But here in uh, in Arizona, Mark Fincham, he's talking about the audit, and they were saying that Maricopa County isn't the only county. And of course, we're still waiting for the Splunk logs and the routers and stuff like that. Uh, we were very upset about Karen Fan uh, signing that signing that deal with the Board of Serpents when there was only five days left after Attorney General Mark Branovich had given them 30 days and we waited 25 days and then we get to the, the 25th day and a deal is, is done that pretty much gives them a way out from what we've read. Um, but he, Mark Fincham is very intelligent. He's gonna be the next Secretary of State. He's a Republican. He's been endorsed by President Donald Trump. And I'm gonna share a video with you now with him talking about that very fact, but he also states that there's gonna be some arrests. Now, Mark Fincham has insight inside information that I don't have access to. He has inside information and inside scoop that I don't have. And he's, you know, people, you know, when you get endorsed by President Donald Trump, you know, people like to talk. And they like to share information with people that's in the know or people that they can trust. Um, so Mark Frencham, very intelligent man. I had a chance to speak at another, um, at I think it was LD uh, local district um 16 or 17 one of them and he and i were there i got up for two minutes i shared who i was and uh what district i was running for the platform i was running on secured borders election integrity equality for all that is everybody's equal rights under the constitution and jobs and the economy so that's my platform so he got up after me and spoke to me and acknowledged me and he did his little deal so anyway i'm gonna let you hear from him Mark Fincham. Mark Fincham says there are going to be some arrests. The way they embedded this video in here, I can't expand it or I can't I can't do anything with it. I can't enlarge it. So this is what we're stuck with. Things I'm really excited about is you know, we, we even though the, the Senate has completed most of its work, and I do believe that we'll see a, a follow-on report, <coughs> excuse me, um, related to a kinematic artifact review, some other things that have not yet been ascertained, for example, the, the Splunk logs and, and the routers. <laughs> we still want to see the routers. Um, there, there are other pieces to that. In fact, Mar Maricopa County isn't the only county. Uh, if people want to go to votefincham.com, they can click on the link up there that demands a vote or a, uh, an audit of Pima County. Um, we found certain discrepancies and uh, we are we're considering contemplating the idea of a uh, calling for an audit, at least a public hearing sometime in the very near future about what happened in Pima County. So for for the people to think that this is somehow over, that we're not, that we're done and nothing's happening, I think back to your original question, prosecutors are engaged in two things. Number one, investigating crimes and making sure that the people that they charge committed the crime. Number two, they like to put people in jail. So I have every reason to believe uh, that there will be some kind. I, I, I agree with that to a point. I agree with that you'd like to put people in jail, but we're under such a political, a politicized everything. They like to put people in jail who are the opposite of their political views. You know, that's really true. I mean, we look at the people that's there for January 6th that's locked up. They have not even been charged with a crime and can't even get out of a jail 23 hours of the day for no reason. So. I agree with that, but no, if you are a Democrat, most likely going to get away with the crime. Of uh, an arrest warrant coming out of the Attorney General's office. Excellent, excellent. Give your website again, Mark. <clears throat> um, so if for people, if they want to see the ballot fraud countermeasures and, and really urge their states to be involved in, and by the way, we've got seven states right now that want to spin up having watermarks and an audit trail on their ballots. They can go to electionsbythepeople.com. But forward looking, I think the most important thing that we can look at is the idea of um, a watermark ballot that is is highly controlled, controlled just like our currency is. And people can sign on to that at electionsbythepeople.com. Uh, that there will be some kind of uh, an arrest warrant coming out of the attorney general's office. Excellent, excellent. Give your website again, Mark. So there, Mark Fincham is talking about there's going to be some arrest warrants coming out of the attorney general's office. <laughs> I, I, look, let me, I don't trust Bron Bron. I don't, how do you say, <laughs> I don't trust him. 
I don't think he's going to do much. Um, but like I said, Fincham has more insight than I do. But I have spiritual, that spiritual intuitiveness, you know, that, that sensitivity, that urge, that unction um, that tells me that, that Mark Bronovich, if, it, if he does do anything, it's going to be low level. You know, it's probably going to be a slap on the wrist, something like that. I would totally be surprised if there were a rest with, like the board, the five board members. I don't think they'll ever get any kind of repercussions or anything like that, but we'll see. I don't know. Let me y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if I miss anything in this report, and um, I'll see y'all on the next video. Thank you.